Do y'all know the difference between a true brick house and a brick veneer house? Of course you don't. If you did, you wouldn't be watching this damn video. I'm gonna teach you something. I'm downtown Wilmington in front of one of our homes that when it was built, it was a big to-do. It was built in 1920 and it was designed to look exactly like Benedict Arnold's house because he had lots of money. And Dr. Bullock, who built one of the first hospitals in downtown Wilmington, he wanted to also look like he had lots of money. So it was $100,000 when it was built, and in 1920, that was a lot of money. Today, $100,000 in downtown Wilmington will maybe get you some brick pavers, and that's about it. So I'm telling you about this house because this house teaches us the difference between a true brick home and a brick veneer. So when people hear that a home is a true brick home, oh, they get so excited. It's a true brick home, and I get it. There, there is some structural superiority to having a true brick home. But there are some legitimate benefits to brick veneer. But first I wanna teach you how to tell the difference between the two. When a brick home is built, they put in what's called the wives of brick, W-Y-T-H-E-S. So you have, think of them like layers, but they're pointed this way, yeah? So you have your first wife and your second wife. And then they have to be tied together, right? You can't just have <laughs> these two brick walls that are just floating next to one another. That wouldn't be structurally sound. So the, the real test of a true brick home to a brick veneer home is you want to look for the anomaly that usually happens around the sixth or seventh line of bricks. And that's when from facing long ways, you suddenly get one that's turned this way. Well, why is that? It's because around the sixth or seventh course, they have to have a row facing this way that binds, that goes over the two wives, that ties them together. And that's why this is called a Flemish bond. It's that course that's turned the other way is bonding the two wives together. Now on a true brick home, you can have walls that are 20 inches thick. So in that regard, yes, they're structurally superior. They're not going anywhere. If you go into something like this, no matter how old it gets, chances are the floors are gonna be very straight versus if you go into one of our stick build homes that has balloon framing and that because of settling, the floors get all wonky. This is a solid unit. This is not going anywhere can't really say the same of let's say a veneer home because that brick veneer is actually attached to wood framing so if you have new construction that's going to be brick veneer on a wood framed house so now that I've just let you know that your brick home is brick veneer and not true brick home don't be totally disappointed just yet and here's why there are actually some reasons why a brick veneer home has benefits when you have a solid brick home like this one Brick absorbs moisture, so the house kind of has to breathe on its own to get the moisture out. When you have brick veneer, there's a space in between the brick and the wood framing, and that space allows moisture to get out of the house. That space also allows them to put in insulation. The other way that you can tell whether a home is true brick or a veneer is to look at the windows. This house has marble lintel. Lintel is that thick, uh, stone at the top of the window and sometimes those are made in granite sometimes marble sometimes concrete but they're very large and typically heavy because they're supporting all the weight of that double white wall right uh, and then on this house the bottom is marble because dr bullock is sparing no expense to keep up with the downtown joneses so when you look at the windows of a home that's brick and you're deciding brick true or brick veneer, pay attention to that lintel and then also look at the thickness of the window casing because when you have that deep true brick wall, you can set your windows back deeper. You have all that space to work with. Well, in a veneer, you have no space to work with. So typically those windows are set closer to the exterior. So it's, it's gonna be shallower. There's gonna be shallower depth. So did y'all learn something? I'll tell you what. You guys just stick with me and I will teach you some shit about these old homes.